Hey drummers, Don O'Keefe here from Face the Music Together. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about probably the single most important thing for any drummer, and that is to make sure you're holding the sticks properly. Uh, now I'm going to be talking about match grip today. Uh, there's also traditional grip, but it's much more common these days to play matched grip, traditional grip, um, if you're playing drum core or certain people like to use it for jazz. I play both grips. Uh, however, I teach most of my students match grip unless they have a specific reason for playing traditional grip. Traditional grip uh, only really came into being way back when people used to march into battle and the drum was hanging down and it was angled like this. You couldn't really play like this. So it was necessary to find a way to play and that's why they came up with this. So there are some sensibilities about it that I like for jazz and it may just be because I grew up playing this way, uh, but generally we're going to be speaking about match grip. So a lot of people talk about the balance point on the stick. I like to call it more the pivot point because if you find a balance point on a stick, I mean balance is really a place where everything is in balance. So it would be right there. Now if you held the stick there, you wouldn't get a very good rebound from the stick. You wouldn't get the assist from gravity. So actually, where the stick balances on your finger, the pivot point of the stick is about an inch or so back from that. And you have to find it on your own stick. And when you do find it, I recommend you take a little uh, Sharpie or something and mark it. Nothing wrong with doing that. But when you find that pivot point on the stick, you'll find the point where you get the maximum amount of bounce out of the stroke. And you should be able to dribble the stick as well. Now, if I try to hold the stick back here, it's not going to dribble very well. It's not, I'll get some bounces out of it, but it's not going to be very well controlled. If I have it too far up on the stick, again, I can dribble that stick, but gravity is not going to help me at all. I'm going to have to do all the work with that stick. So, again, if you go to where the balance point of the stick is and then go an inch or so back, you should find a good point where the pivot point of the stick should be. Now once you find that point, that's where your fulcrum is going to go. So the fulcrum is going to create a lever on the stick. And the fulcrum is between your thumb and your index finger. And it's the first joint in your index finger and your thumb. Now if you look, your thumb will be pointing basically straight down the stick and it'll be in that first crease. Sometimes I like to play just with my fulcrum to get that feel. So we're talking match grip. So when you find that on one side, you just match it up to the other side and you should basically have your grip. All right, so now if you, here you are, you've got the fulcrum, you've got it on the pivot point of the stick, you're holding it with the thumb facing down the stick like that, okay? It's in the crease, your, your fulcrum is, is correctly positioned in your fingers. So now, turn the stick over. When you turn the stick over, it should be angled, the back of the stick should be hitting this fleshy pad, the shock absorber. That's where the stick should be positioned in the back of the hand. You don't want it over here, you don't even really want it in here, you want it right there. Okay, and then the fingers will lightly wrap around it. We want that to be, they want to make contact, but you don't want to hold the stick like this. You don't want to be clubbing it. You want it to be loose in that fulcrum. You want to be relaxed, as relaxed as possible. So you have your pivot points, your fulcrum. Turn it over. Make sure they're matching. Make sure your fingers are lightly wrapped. Make sure the back of the stick is hitting that fleshy shock absorber. And now you're ready to find the positioning, okay? So put the sticks down, loosen up, shake it out, shake it out, and then just relax. Put your arms down, bring your arms up, look at your hands, bring them down again, bring them up, look at your hands. So if you take one of your sticks and just put it in that hand, on the X that you've marked with your fulcrum and match it up to the other one. 
put those down on the pad. We're going to call this our rooftop. Okay. Now there are three basic different hand positions. We have German grip, which is a 90 degree angle on that rooftop. If you come in a little bit, you get American grip at about 45 degrees. It's more of a peak. Uh, and then there's French grip or timpani grip when the sticks are parallel. Now what you'll notice about both my hands and my thumbs as I come in from German, my thumbs are basically pointing at each other. They're facing each other. As I come in a little bit, now I have an angle going off this way with my thumbs. As my palm starts to come in a little bit, and as I come into timpani grip or French grip, my thumbs are going to be straight up, my thumbnail is going to be straight up in the air, and my hands are going to be, uh, you know, parallel to each other. So we're only going to use this grip when we're doing fingers, um, and timpanists use this grip a, a lot for rolls. Uh, we're going to spend most of our time probably between American and German, uh, for now, anyway. One other thing you want to make sure you do is basically you have your fulcrum, it's on the pivot point of the stick, um, you, you have them matched, it's angled properly, it's sitting right in your hand, the fingers are correct. One thing you want to keep in mind is this gap right here. You don't want to close it up. If you're closing that gap up, you're probably holding the stick too tight. So tension is the enemy of relaxation. So we want to be relaxed. Okay? We want to be in motion. We want to have as little tension as possible. So you want to make sure you have that opening. If I, there are times when I might close it up for certain specific reasons, but generally if I'm closing it up, I'm too tight. So to make sure you're starting off right, if you take that stick, turn it over, take your other stick, you should be able to slide that stick through there. That gap should be there. And it should be there whether you can do it from the top or the bottom. And again, you should be able to do that on both sides. Turn it over. It should be underneath. Thank you. And that's basically all there is to the basic grip. So you may want to start with, if you're right-handed, your right side, your right hand, your dominant hand, um, because it may be easier for you to get that into position. So once you do that, then try to make your left hand uh, look like your right hand. And, you know, turn them around. Look at them from this angle. Look at them from this angle. Look at them when you have your rooftop on the drum. Um, come in and out a little bit see that you are actually making the grips match as much as possible because again this is called match grip so if you start out with those basic tips and you're following those few simple rules you should be in pretty good shape as far as your hand uh, technique and your your hand position and how to hold the sticks uh, we'll get into more about the motions in another video but right now you know, the single most important thing is just to make sure you're holding the sticks properly. Because if you're not, it's going to create issues for you down the line that you may have trouble uh, dealing with. So I hope this helped, and uh, we will see you in the next video.